What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to shoot 8K on the Sony a7R 3 So the Sony a7R 3 does not shoot 8K video natively. Today I'm gonna to show you two little hacks on how you can shoot 8K. So the two ways that we're gonna accomplish 8K video today is through stop motion photography and time lapse photography. Both are gonna be the same. We're gonna be taking a handful of photographs. I'm gonna include a few stop motion videos that Bree and I shot the other day at St. Mary's Glacier. Stop motion videos that we made came out really good. So I'm gonna play those for you guys to see. And it's just a really kind of cool creative outlet on how to turn photos into videos and create an 8K resolution video. The Sony a7R 3 shoots 10 frames a second. So the human eye sees 24 frames a second. And most videos that you watch online or TV shows or movies are playing at 24 frames a second. So with the stop motion photography only being 10 frames a second when you're shooting on the high continuous function, it's going to have a little bit different of a look and it's going to be missing some frames as a video would have, but it's going to, like I said, just create a really cool look. Another thing is I want to show you guys, so this video I'm shooting at 1080p quality and the 8K resolution, I'm going to back up so you guys can see how zoomed in and how much you can crop in on this resolution and then bring it back to 1080 just so you guys can see the huge difference. All right, so the first way, stop motion. So now that we have the tripod set up, I'm going to show you guys the setting on my camera on how to get high plus shooting mode. And then I'm going to have Bree just do a little quick heel clack for me just to show you guys kind of the behind the scenes of how I shoot this and then later how we can stitch together before getting on a time lapse photography. Another super important thing is you cannot be on APS-C mode and you cannot be shooting 16 by 9. Otherwise, you're not going to have the full 42 megapixels. So I've got my settings, my focus and composition all set up. Bree is ready to go and I've got a, her tripod mount right there as a marker of where to jump just so we have everything good everything's gonna be in focus all that stuff and here we go three two one go <laughs> take two all right three two one, go. All right, and now we're gonna do the second way, time-lapse photography. So for time-lapse photography, uh, there's probably a handful of you that already know how to shoot a time-lapse. So whether you're using an in-camera app, a intervalometer, you know, you're essentially gonna get your composition, your settings, your focal point, you're gonna set an interval, and you're gonna create a time-lapse. The only thing special about this is that it's a 42 megapixel camera. So I'm not gonna go into start to finish of it. I'm just gonna show a quick setup of a time-lapse and show you guys an example time-lapse.
So in this video focused on how to shoot these photos to end up with an 8K video result, um, I already have a tutorial on how to render these through Lightroom, through After Effects, or through both of them together. So I'm gonna leak that on the side if you wanna watch that. And this will bring your 8K photos that you took on the R3 into a short video. So I'm gonna end the video here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I've been having a lot of fun playing around with the A7R3 and the 42 megapixel sensor. So it's been a lot of fun. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later.